video so we're going to use some special effects wax and some liquid latex to create the Joker's Chelsea smile. Mould the wax like so and secure it to the face with latex. Adding extra latex over the top will make it more secure so that's what I'm doing here. Now I'm taking some white face paint and applying it all over the face with a sponge. This might take a few layers. I really wanted some Manic Panic Dream Tone but they don't sell it near me so I'm going to have to order some. Now I'm just setting the face paint with some white powder. This is Serpent by Makeup Revolution. I'm going to be using this on my eyebrows. This is a really nice lipstick. It's really pigmented and it has really come in handy for a, a lot of my special effects makeup. So it's worth investing in. It's only a pound by the way. Now I'm just applying some mascara. It doesn't matter what mascara it is. This this is just one of my old ones I don't really use anymore. It, it doesn't matter how messy this gets. I got a lot on my eyelid but this really does come in handy for the next part of the tutorial. Now I'm just taking a cotton bud and I'm smudging in the bits where my mascara got on my eyelid. And I'm just going to take a black face paint and this is just going to be applied all over my eyelid and around my eye. I just made this up as I went along so there is no real technique to this but I just tried to make it as feminine as I could. I dip this paintbrush in the face paint just to make it a little bit darker around my my actual eye and I've added a slight winged eyeliner to it just to make it look a little bit feminine seeing as the Joker is a guy. Now that my eyes are done, we'll be moving on to adding some features to the face. So this is a palette by Makeup Revolution and I'm taking the grey and I'm just going to put some grey around my nose and underneath my cheek lines just to define them features. Now I'm just blending it in with a blending brush. Now I'm just taking some green makeup and putting it round the top of my head just so the Joker looks like he has a hairline. And I'm just pencilling in some lines which is that the Joker has on the forehead. Now I'm taking a red and this is where we're going to be doing the lips and the scar. So this is like fun part of this look. Just add some face paint to the scars. Because it's been covered in face paint, it's really easy to apply over the wax. And it's taken off the shine of the wax. So the first coat is just going to be red face paint. And then we're going to add the details in. This can be as clean or as messy as you like guys. I'm just taking a cotton bud now and ripping into the wax a little bit just to make it seem a little bit more jagged.
and I'm going back in with some more face paint now the first layer is dry just to make it a bit of a deeper red Now that that's done I'm taking a dark reddish brown and in the holes that I made a little bit earlier with the cotton bud I'm just adding this brown to it just to make it look like it's more of a slash. And with some black I'm just going into the corners of my mouth and into those little gaps as well just to make it again look a lot more deeper and more like a, a cut. And I'm adding some scab blood. This all just adds to the effect of the scar. And there we have it. That's the Joker. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you liked it, please subscribe, follow me on Instagram and like my Facebook page and I'll see you soon.